up, what up, what up? We are here for another day. Okay, there we go. I always forget to turn my camera the right way. Sorry. All right, welcome everybody. We are here for why bookkeeping is important. And I know a lot of you are probably asking such a question, right? In your business, it's hot. Um, what the heck is this bookkeeping everybody's talking about? Why do I have to do it? And I know a lot of you, you like to put it off until tax time, right? Because it's not important until it's important type thing. It's not the same as going out making money in your business, but I don't understand. It's kind of like it goes together, right? You're going out making the money. Well, don't you want to keep some of it? And that's the thing that bookkeeping does. It, it does quite a few things, and I'm going to share nine things with you today as to why you want to be doing your bookkeeping. All right, so we're going to dive right into that. Those of you that don't know me, I'm Felicia Streeter, and I provide bookkeeping services and training. All right, so let's talk about this bookkeeping, this thing called bookkeeping, as you guys like to say. So the number one reason why you want to do bookkeeping is because taxes. If you're in the U.S., and other countries have it too, but you know every year you have to file taxes, right? And so how can you compile those numbers accurately? if you're not keeping up with your books. So that's the first thing, just because you have to file taxes. And then think about this, not only filing taxes, but to ensure that you're um, capturing all of your deductions that's possible, you wanna make sure you're doing your bookkeeping consistently on a monthly basis. Because here's the thing, um, I can tell you, I have many, many clients that they always lose receipts, um, they start out, maybe they're doing the next sale and then, you know, that gets too much. And so they kind of just like, whatever, they'll worry about it at tax time, but then they miss out on a lot of tax deductions that they probably could have. So I might be like, well, you didn't buy any office supplies this year or this past year. And they're like, well, yeah, I buy office supplies all the time. Well, you can't count it if you don't have the receipts. See why it's important? So that's the second reason why, why, why it's important. And then thirdly, uh, and these aren't in any specific order, but just importance and why you should be doing it, is your financial fitness of your business. How do you know if you're profitable? How do you know um, what can you, you know, project, you know, in the next 90 days even, let alone six months to a year? And, you know, are you profitable? You know, your financial statements will tell you that, and that's in the form of doing your bookkeeping, all right? So the financial fitness of your business, because most people that come to me, they're making money in their business, but they're not doing two things. One, they're not paying themselves consistently. And I'm not talking about when you take an owner's draw so that you can pay some bills on your side, personal side. I'm talking about they're not consistently uh, paying themselves for the work that they're doing in their business. And it's funny because when you outsource, when you hire other employees, what do you do? You pay them, but you don't pay yourself. You always get the sloppy seconds, and most of the time, it's not much of that left, right? And so you don't get anything. Well, if you you know stay on top of your financials and look at the financial fitness of your business, it will allow you to be able to do that. Pay yourself and take out profits. So that's two things there. All right. The next thing we're talking about is cash flow. And cash flow helps you track your spending. This is where you can do some projections as far as seeing um, where the money is going, what was the trend of spending, so that you can kind of forecast for the future, right? And when I'm talking about cash flow, I'm talking about cash flow in and cash flow out. So you can look at how much money you've been bringing in over, say, the last 90 days or, um, you know, six months or a year, however long it's been. You can, you know, put in the numbers and it spits out the report for you. And so that's the, another beauty of uh, being in an accounting system doing your bookkeeping is that when you need to know some information really, really quickly and say it's a particular date range, you just type it in. Click, bam, there's the report. Versus if you were doing it manually, you got to pull all the numbers, get out the calculator, right? Take a lot of time. All right. Back to the profitability and growth of your business. It'll also help you with figuring out where you need to cut costs, right? 
If you want to be profitable, we're talking about financial fitness of your business, and you're like, well, I want my business to be more profitable, right? Then you can look at your bookkeeping and say, okay, here are some areas where we can cut costs, right? And if you're not tracking your numbers, you're not able to do that. It also helps you with paying yourself, which is really, really important. Um, I already said it helps you with forecasting. And it also, monthly, it can tell you if you're profitable. It can also tell you if a particular product or service that you're offering is profitable. Was it profitable this month? Maybe one was more profitable than the other. Maybe I shouldn't even do this one because it wasn't that profitable. And if I took my time and added it to this other product or service that was profitable, I wonder how much more profitable would it be? Those are the type of things that's in your numbers. Your numbers tell a story. You just have to read it. All right. Here's another thing. If you're in a business where um, you may have to apply for loans, and you're going to get a business loan, they're going to want to see your financial statements. I can tell you that's a must. If you um, go to the bank to get a loan, they're going to want to see it. If you purchasing a home and say your only income is your business income, they're going to want to see your business financials. How do I know that? Because I was in that situation. So I had to produce financials for my business in order to purchase my home. All right. So that's another thing. Um, Say you're going to partner with someone or um, um, you're contracting with someone, right? They may ask for your financial statements. Why? Because they want to see the financial fitness of your business. Can you handle uh, the payroll? Can you handle whatever the cost will be uh, expense-wise until you're paid, you know, based off of what are you, whatever you guys are doing together? So they're going to want to look at it as well. And then again, let's get back to this one about paying yourself. Bookkeeping helps you determine how much you should pay yourself and if your business can pay yourself. Most people in business, as I said earlier, are not paying themselves. They're taking draws out of their account. So they're hitting that owner's draw account. And that's not it. You know, you do that, what, every time you need to pay something personally? Well, that's not how you pay your um employees if you have them or if you have where you outsource things you don't pay them like that right you pay them once a month twice a month or as the job is done however that works so here's the thing we talked about why bookkeeping is important but i want to share this with you and leave you with this tip about paying yourself you can start paying yourself today if you run your financial reports right and you can say um look at your income after expenses not before look at your income after expenses and you could say okay every time I run my report once a month I'm gonna take 1% and set it to the side for my pay how cool is that right and you can do the same thing for your profits right every month take 1% put it into that profit account and then quarterly, pay yourself a profit, just like the big girls and big boys do in, in business. They pay uh, profits out quarterly. You could do the same thing. All right? So that's what we have. Let's recap really, really quickly here. Why bookkeeping is important to you and the success of your business. Why? Because, one, it is required that you file taxes every year. And your uh, bookkeeping and financial statements, the information in there will allow you to file your taxes accurately. And if you're audited, you'll have the information to show them. So we don't want that to happen, but if it does, you'll be prepared. Secondly, it'll help you save time when you're filing your taxes, as well as it helps you with expenses. Making sure that you're capturing all expenses that are tax deductible. Who wants to pay more in taxes than they have to? I don't. I'm sure you don't either, right? It also helps you with the financial fitness of your business, tell you how fit you are, um, it also tells you when you're able to outsource and add help. And I can tell you if you're making uh, under 250 k 250000 a year, you're doing about a good 60 70% of the work yourself. So I don't know why you're not paying yourself. You should be. All right. It helps you with cash flow, tracking your spending. 
It helps with the profitability and growth of your business, showing you where you could possibly uh, cut cost, um, help you with forecasting, help you with uh, determining how to make your business more profitable. It also is needed when you're applying for loans. If you're partnering with someone, they may want to see the financial statements uh, in your business because they want to see how uh, financially fit the business is, if it's profitable, things like that as well as paying yourself. You can use that to gauge how much your business can actually pay you. Because you may think, oh, I can pay myself, you know, I don't know, $2,000, $5,000 a month for my business, but how long can you do that and sustain that without or before you make your business go bankrupt, if that's the case? The numbers tell you that, all right? So that's why you wanna get into bookkeeping, start doing your bookkeeping like yesterday. We are in, what is this, October? No, September, almost October. Tax time is coming around again. So, you know, today is, you know, just as good as any other day. Start today because you should have started when you started your business. But today is a great day if you have not. All right. So that's what we have. Why you should be um, doing your bookkeeping. Why is it important? I just shared that with you. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can type them in now. I'll hang out here. For a moment see if any questions come through and as always while i'm waiting on them to come through because it takes a minute sometimes you can always reach out to me over in my facebook group uh game changers lounge that's where the after party always happens and i hang out in there and answer questions and um if you want to use the term coaching i like to say more of a mentor and training i do all of that over in that group so definitely, if you're watching the replay, you can come over there and ask your questions. You can also personal message me over there on Facebook if you have any questions as well. I can definitely help you. And guess what? Guess what? If you've been hanging out with me for a while, I've been kind of planting this seed and been sharing about the Academy of Bookkeeping. Well, guess what? Today, the doors have opened. Today. And here's the thing. So I'm going to be showing you... Let me get my notes because I'm going to tell you exactly what we're covering. So it's uh, Bookkeeping 101, and I'm going to be sharing with you how to set up the foundation of your bookkeeping and accounting system. Not only showing you how, but we're going to do the work. I don't believe in showing you how and not getting it done. So you're going to actually get it done. You're going to do some work, right? So I'm going to show you that, how to set the foundation, uh, getting your bookkeeping system in order, what technology you'll need to support you, things like that. Then we're going to talk about the actual setup of your accounting system. So we're going to go in and determine what categories you need for your business. We're going to set up your vendors, your customers, customize your invoice. We're going to um, set up payment terms and some other resources that we're going to talk about there. Then we're going to talk about money flow. So we're going to talk about you getting paid, how to make that happen, how to uh, record that type of transaction. We're going to talk about what's not income. Why are we going to talk about that? Because a lot of people post things under income that is not income. But when you do that, you wind up paying taxes on it. So now you overpaid in taxes. Who wants to do that? Right? So I'm, we're going to cover that. We're also going to show you how to record your transactions for when uh, you're paying your expenses. And when you have those credits come back in or say, say you have a charge back or something like that, uh, it's not always common, but it happens and you want to know how to record those type of transactions correctly. Again, because that's not income coming into the business. Uh, we're also going to category, categorize your expenses and then we're going to do the actual posting. So we're going to do some posting of your books. And I mean posting everything, your income, your expenses. We're going to pay bills, invoicing customers, uh, receiving payments, reconciling your bank accounts and your credit card statements. Uh, if you have to do purchase orders, we're going to show you how to do that. If you're doing estimates, then using those estimates to invoice, show you how to do that, and how to create estimates that you can use over and over again, especially if you have a long list that um, compiles within your estimate. You don't want to have to type all that every time. That's not cool. If you need to do change orders, what about recording refunds, uh, recording deposits? And a lot of people record deposits incorrectly, and that's why they're always out of balance. It is a two-step process, not a one. And most people only do one half of the process of posting another transaction. And that's why you're always out of balance. So that's a heads up for you. All right. How to write checks and print checks. 
right? Posting your payments um, when you pay yourself. Because most of the time that's not posted correctly. Then we're gonna start, then we're gonna look at the financial statements. We're gonna run the three key financial statements that you should run every month. And I'm gonna show you how to read them and what they can tell you about your business as far as budgeting, looking at cash flow projections, uh, forecasting for the future. So we're talking about your profit and loss statement, your balance sheet, your cash flow statement. We're talking about your accounts receivable aging. Yes, because you want to collect your money and we'll talk about that and how to make that happen because I don't believe in leaving money on the table. We're going to talk about your accounts receivable aging and then as well as budgeting and forecasting. All right. And then a bonus. Here's the bonus. What we're going to do is we're going to actually do the calculations once we get everything set up as to what your business should be able to pay you as of that date right what should your paycheck be and how much should you be setting aside for profits every month and then how to actually set that up so that you're paying yourself at least twice a month we're going to make that happen some of that's going to be automated so you don't have to worry about it as well as setting up your um profits to go into your profit account so all of that we're going to work through that set that up so that we make sure every month you're doing two things for you because if you're not doing these two things, your business, you're not that in love with it right now. And we want you to fall back in love with your business. We're going to make sure you're paying yourself and that you're taking profit. Not actually out in your pocket because you only take it once a quarter. But we're going to make sure that your business is setting aside an, an amount for profit every month. All right, so that's what we're going to be covering. Bookkeeping one-on-one -on -one through the Academy of Bookkeeping. And if you want to go check that out, what is the link? Because I forgot the link. The link is, I'll put it in the notes because I can't remember the link right now. Although I could run and get it, huh? But the link is, and I didn't bring it over here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's see if I put the link here. I did not. Okay, I'll put the link in the, in, in the uh, notes below. But here's the thing. Here's what you want to know. If you decide to join this week, the current rate is $97. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. $97 uh, this week for the first 15 people that set, uh, sign up. So it's only 15 spots at $97. Every week until uh, the course starts, it's going to increase by $100. So I can tell you, and it starts October 24th. It's a virtual training. And so once it's, uh, we get to that last week, it's going to be like $4.97. So those of you that take action, I like to reward that. And how am I doing that? By giving you $400 off. Right? So $97 for those that sign up this week, the first 15 people. And I've already put it out to my list this morning because I like to uh, make sure my peeps know what's going on. I also put it out in my Facebook group. And after this, it'll go out on social media where I have a reach of over 19,000. So if you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, I need some support with my bookkeeping. Don't wait. This is the time to make sure you go ahead and get in, get the training. This week is $97. That's a steal. Yes. That is a truly steal. I'm trying to think of the link and I can't think of the link. Hmm. I don't know where I wrote it at. It's a bit.ly link, but I can't remember it for the, for the life of me. So I'll put it down in the notes. And again, you know, I'll be back here tomorrow. So feel free to come back, check me out. We'll be talking more about bookkeeping, uh, keeping more of the money you make, taking control over your finances, uh, paying yourself, right? Increasing your payout to yourself every month, as well as banking more profits. All right. That is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye bye. And I have two things to take down, so let's see.